Representatives from the Nebraska Department of Agriculture recently returned from China, where they had a unique opportunity with the Paulson Institute. We talked with Director Greg Ibaugh about how that trip could benefit the state. Well, uh, former uh, Secretary of Treasury Hank Paulson has formed an institute in Chicago. It's Chicago-based, and it has several working groups within the institute, but one of them is focused on agriculture and trying to work with China on an agricultural level. And this one isn't uh, about, you know, sending our technology to them. It's about bringing their investment to the United States and looking for uh, the opportunity to build jobs, do some manufacturing in the egg space with Chinese investment. Talking about bringing the money over and then maybe finding a new market, whether it be here or in China as well? Yes, and if they would, uh, you know, build an ag processing plant of some type or an ag manufacturing related uh, plant of some type that you know, they could either access then the U.S. market with their products, the world market, because we would have the, the science and safety standards in place to, to have access to a world market, or they could take it home to China, uh, where they would also have a market uh, for those products. What's the benefit for Nebraska? And first, I, sh I should just ask you about Nebraska's role in all this, because this is U.S.-wide. So what's Nebraska's specific role? Well, Nebraska was uh, the only state that the Paulson Institute invited to this uh, workshop to be able to give a presentation. And part of that's because, uh, you know, I think that we have a strong reputation for working in the international marketplace. Uh, you know, we promote ourselves fairly heavily there. But also, I think we've developed a fairly strong reputation over the last few years as being a economically strong state. Mm -hmm. And if you watch where we have climbed in the business favorability ratings over the last few years, uh, you know we, we're moving right up. And then, you know, some of them were even rated number one place, num number one state to start a new business. Right. And what happens now? I mean, what's the the additional benefit if uh, if Chinese investors were to come in into uh, a manufacturing sector of some kind in the state? Well, you know, we're we're happy and we've had great success sending our raw agricultural commodities to China. And we hope to continue to do that. And I think they're going to be a, a great market for, you know, corn, soybeans, wheat, dry beans for a long time into the future. I think there's also an opportunity, though, for us to look at adding value to those soybeans, corn, wheat, and dry beans, and other uh, crops as well, before they leave Nebraska and create jobs and tax base and economic development in some communities across Nebraska and then send finished products over instead of raw materials. What's the timeline for this? Is it in the infancy? Is it at an advanced stage where the investors are ready to go now? What's, uh, what's the prognosis here? I think I would characterize this, uh, the work we did uh, and the meeting we were at is very foundational. I think this is just really, uh, you know, the, this concept about bringing ag investment back is, is pretty new to China, it's pretty new within the, the U.S. Uh, as well. And so, you know, where you need to you know, learn about what their wants, needs, and expectations might be, and, and they the same. And so, you know, we will work uh, at the Department of Ag to continue to follow up and uh, figure out if we can, you know, turn this into some projects. Mm -hmm.